Hey, what's up, friends, family, turds, nerds, freaks, and geeks, and all that's in between? Today, we're gonna get into something very interesting that I've seen a couple videos about, and I think that it just does not get enough attention. So, have you ever felt different? You know, targeted. And some of us, maybe more than others. Have you ever wondered if it was connected to your blood? For any reason? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up because today we're talking blood types. And it's funny that I just so happen to be O negative, RH negative. And this is one that is conspiracy theorized, theorized <laughs> to have certain qualities that are pretty interesting. So let's get into it guys, in blood types today. And we were discussing if they hold importance. And I promise you, and I will show you that they do. And this is for many reasons. As we had stated, those with O negative blood have felt targeted or different most of their lives. They have the tendencies of being um, just, just a bigger target, and not only that, but certain things come with this blood type that many do not understand. Are you ready to jump into this topic? Let's get into the meat of it. Let me just say this up front. The only reason why I know so much about this topic, specifically, is because I am myself an O negative, RH negative person. I have firsthand dealt with what comes with being O negative and RH negative. Now, let's discuss some of the traits. Some of the traits that these people like myself experience are such things like more psychic abilities, uh, stronger intuition, um, easier to astral project and meditate um, a whole lot comes with it guys and for some reason oddly being targeted by the government and powers that be and let me explain to you oh blood types are or were what was known as the universal giver meaning I can give my blood to anyone any one of you if you need it, I would be there, right there to give it to you. But if I needed you, could you help me? Probably not, unless you had my blood type. See, I can give it to anyone, but I can only take it from the same one. Seems a little weird, doesn't it? Things are about to get weirder. Because not only that, but when I became pregnant, I was told I needed a special shot just for me and those like me. Women who are RH negative and are pregnant with an RH positive child need to get a shot. And this shot is so that their body doesn't fight off or try and kill the child. And I mean that. Their body would attack it as if it was foreign to it alien if you will now that seems a little bit odd doesn't it does to me so I got the shot and when I was younger I always thought that giving um giving blood was so important I, I always told people you know give blood they need it and once I realized it's terrible you shouldn't do it if if you're O negative, just keep it. I know, I know that sounds terrible, but keep it to yourself because once they know, it's all downhill from there. And I, I promise you, because I've had firsthand experience with it, I mean, I literally have been different my whole life, and I just tried. And I know that could be anyone, right? But I tried so hard to fit in. And I couldn't, no matter what I did. I needed to just be myself. I needed to just shine. 
And that is what made me special, I guess. That's what was the game changer. Once I stopped trying so hard, it just fell in place. And so, if you are O negative, RH negative, let me know in the comments below if you've experienced any of this. Let me know what you think. And don't just take my word for it, guys. Search online. Oh, wait. It's not going to be made easy for you. This information is actually pretty hard to find. Although what I'm stating is fact. You won't be able to just search it and find it so easily as if they want to keep it from you. Now why would that be? Why is it always to, to belittle the powers of, that you have, that you naturally have? And it may sound a little woo-woo. It may sound a little woo-woo. But let's go there. Let's go woo-woo. Let's do it. Because I know firsthand that I can astral project. I do have, it seems to me, a type of psychic abilities. I can read someone without them saying a word to me. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just natural. It just happens. I'm sure others have been through this. I'm sure of it. Let me know down below. Man, maybe ancient astronauts? I don't know. It's kind of odd to think why a mother, why her body would reject her own offspring. Nowhere in nature does this occur naturally. Nowhere. But, it does occur with a cross between a horse and a donkey. Hmm. This fact alone points to the distinct possibility of cross-breeding between two similar but genetically different species. No one has ever tried to explain where RH negative people come from. Nobody has gone into it. Nobody has tried to research it. That's at least what they tell us. I think that they have. And they just don't want to say anything. Most familiar blood factors admit that these people must at least be a mutation, if not descendants from a different ancestors. If we are a mutation, what caused it? Why does it continue? Why does it so violently reject the RH factor? If it's of its own ancestry. And if not, then who's the ancestor? These are all things to think about. So let's talk about the importance then. And for those of you who are not O negative or RH negative, this is all still very important to us, to all of us, as a human race. But the thing is, we're not really a human race. Because if we were, all blood would be, um, you know, be able to, we should be able to give it to another. We should all be able to exchange blood. It should all be compatible, if you will. But it's not. And that's what makes us not the human race, but more a hybrid species. You're still confused? Still scratching your head? Let's go down the rabbit hole just a bit deeper. Follow me, because life gets curiouser and curiouser as we go. Here's a fun fact. Robert Anton Wilson is the author of Illuminous. He also has all right, it's negative blood. Brad Steiger also has RH negative blood. 
and his new book is Gods of Aquarius, considers this possibility. Eric von Lingen has arch negative blood and a thirst for truth. And I am nowhere near how amazing these people are, but I have a thirst for truth. Do you think that there's something related to this? Guys, this was never going to be just another RH negative blood video. You have to know that. <laughs> you got to know that coming in here with me. Okay, so stick with me and we're going to learn a little bit more about it. We're going to go a little bit more in depth than others tend to go. You know, we get the usual, mm -hmm, that's a blood type, mm -hmm, target, mm -hmm. reptilians, right? That's your normal rundown? Not this time. So we know that we have the psychic powers. We know that we have the thirst for truth. We know that bloodlines are important. It's just crazy. And the RH factor, some call reptilian traits or the dragon within. So let's jump into that, okay? It's gonna get real woo-woo. Here we go. There is a hypothesis that this RH negative blood factor was a Viking, a sole survivor of a sea exploration, or a person from a Celtic tribe. Hey, guess what? I'm Irish. <laughs> it's just pretty crazy. The key is in the heart of the cell. The fractal genetic embedded information. There is so much information so deeply embodied. So, your RH status describes whether or not you have protein on the surface of the red of your blood cells. If you don't, then you're considered RH negative. If you have it, then you're RH positive. About 85% of people are RH positive, though it varies by race. For African Americans, 90-95% to 95 are RH positives. As for Asians, it's 98-99%. to 99%. RH negatives are rare, but strangely, a person with the type O negative blood is considered the universal donor, which we talked about. Meaning, you can give that blood to anybody. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's all about inheritance. In more than 98% of the cases, the red cells are um, incompatibility with the RH antigen. So the disease is known as the racist disease or racist disease. <laughs> Although the exact percentage varies per race, as stated, the woman giving birth would have to uh, do the shot. There's just so much risk in that, too. You can just, your body can just reject it, or you can just have a miscarriage. And it's funny that RH negative men and women have quite unusual traits. And some call them the reptilian traits. Here we go. The extra vertebrae, born with the tailbone. And I've actually seen somebody that had one of those. It was pretty crazy. Lower, bo lower body temperature, which I definitely have. Lower than normal blood pressure. I definitely have that. Higher mental analytic abilities. Higher negative ion shielding from positive charged bacteria around the body, highly sensitive to EM or ELF fields, hypervision and other hypersenses, which is insane because my ears have been going nuts lately. Have any of you experienced these things? You have to let me know. We have to find out the truth together. And just to get even more woo-woo, 
And put this in perspective, some people who are dealing what is with what is known as the Mandela effect have stated that RH negative and RH positive were never a thing before. How strange is that? Why is it now? And I would have never known if I hadn't become pregnant. <laughs>